Muse Cell Transplantation, New Hope for Stroke Victims. Stem cell transplantation aimed at neural repair was a dream in the treatment of stroke for several years. But studies with a variety of stem cell types have shown that there are drawbacks to most of them, mainly the propensity for the cells to differentiate into several cell types or pluripotent and to form tumors. With a newly discovered cell called muse cells or multilineage differentiating stress enduring cells, neuronal regeneration resulted in significant improvements in neurological and motor functions. A good news is that the muse cells, unlike other pluripotent cells, do not turn into tumors. The study has considerable implications for future clinical studies aimed at regenerating neurological and motor function in patients who have suffered ischemic stroke. Dr. Caesar Five Berlongan, Distinguished Professor and Vice Chairman for Research at the University of South Florida College of Medicine Department of Neurosurgery and Brain Repair and Director of USF's The Center of Excellence for Aging and Brain Repair, published the study in the journal, Stem Cells on 28 September 2015. Muse cells are unique stem cells that are able to self-renew and also display high efficiency for differentiating into neuron-like cells. When mu cells are transplanted into to the brains of stroke model, they attain neuronal characteristics. The mu cells are found to possess the functional characteristics of neurons when they differentiate in the host microenvironment of stroke patients. Mu cells are seen in a variety of tissues, including bone marrow, skin and fat tissues. These cells can be derived from dermal fibroblasts and plays a critical role in wound healing. They can be easily collected from patient skin biopsies, without the need for invasive procedures required for obtaining other kinds of stem cells. Many stem cells used in stem cell transplantation studies have been found to cause cancer. Muse cells do not produce tumors and exhibit exceptional tissue repair potential when introduced into the bloodstream. Fetal stem cells appear to be better candidates for replacing lost neural circuitry, because they differentiate into neuronal cells. Getting fetal stem cell is difficult and like embryonic stem cells, their immaturity may result in tumor development. Use of fetal and embryonic stem cells has been the topic of many ethical debates. Since mu cells can be derived from adult tissue rather than fetal or embryonic tissue. The ethical problems associated with stem cell therapy is not there. Mu cells do not have to be induced, or genetically manipulated, to be pluripotent, as required with some other cell varieties. Mu cells display inherent neuronal properties after isolation, so they spontaneously move toward the stroke-damaged sites, when released into the bloodstream. This is the first study to show that human skin fibroblast-derived mu cells can have neuron-like function. They possess an inherent ability to assume stemness properties, readily differentiate into neural lineage cells after integration into the stroke brain. The results show that mu cells are a feasible and promising source for cell-based approaches to ischemic stroke therapy. Thank you.